Now, it's not just the New York Times headline that was misleading. It turns out that the entire article is devoid of facts, poorly researched and reported. Take, for instance, uh, the article is factually inaccurate. Let's look at uh, the first example. The article says that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's biggest vulnerability is the economy. The NYT says that India's economy grew 6.6% in the most recent quarter and called it the slowest rate in five years. That's not true. The slowest rate in five years was 5.7% in the first quarter of 2017. Next, India was referred to as the fastest growing economy among quote-unquote most developed countries. Now, India is the fastest growing large economy and is growing faster than all and not most developed countries. Now, thirdly, the article claims farmers are quote-unquote furious with Prime Minister Modi. The article says, and I quote, he had promised to ensure that farmers receive prices high enough to make a profit, but export controls and overproduction have cut deeply into prices for crops like onions and potatoes, unquote. The NYT therefore conveniently ignores proactive measures for the farm sector, such as minimum support price at 1.5 times the input cost and the 6,000 rupees directly credited into the bank accounts of nearly 120 million small farmers. Lastly, the article directly claims, without any facts, figures or numbers, that hate crimes against Dalits have exploded. In this case, isolated incidents are being painted as widespread alienation of certain groups.